This time we're painting a, the little spoiler wing on a Saturn SC2. I got it all sanded and primed. So this is the gun I'll be using. It's a spray it something. Um, it's, it's a rebranded R500 or whatever that is. Here it is, the SP33000K. So this is a LV, LP, low pressure, low volume. Uh, means less overspray, means smaller compressors can handle it. So I just saw someone paint an entire SUV using just this gun and a smaller compressor than I have. I have a 33 gallon. He was using like a 21, so pretty impressive. Uh, excited to see what this does. Hopefully this will help get rid of my orange peel issue. And yeah, so the color is a gold metallic. My first time spraying a metallic color. Gonna get some practice on the gun, get the gun all dialed, and then we're gonna try it out. Alright, I'll see how this goes. Just gonna do a little test area to make sure that they're all good. Alright, so here it is. We'll see how this dries. Alright, a big concern of mine was having orange peel. Uh, that Harbor Freight, the purple gun, was just giving me a ton of orange peel. I just, I couldn't figure out the right settings for it. Um, partly, probably because I didn't have a regulator on the gun before. Now I do. That seems to help. But, here is just the little test area I sprayed, so it's pretty light, but um, as you can see, the, the paint particles are very fine, it has a nice gold color. Um, yeah, we're looking good, so I'm going to sand this off, and then I'm going to spray the rest of the thing, so let's do this. Alright, right about 25 PSI, let's see what happens. Uh, and I realized I didn't have to sand this down because I'm still within the time frame, so we're good there. Make sure there's no extra dust. I should be using a tack cloth, but it's just a little spoiler. It doesn't need to be perfect, so I'm not going to make the trip out to buy one, unfortunately. So I sprayed the first coat and it was actually coming out pretty gritty, like you could hear it and feel it. Uh, so I wet sanded it down with 600, so now it's nice and polished and smooth. So I'm going to give it another coat and that should be it. And I actually had a few spots where I was too heavy and ran the paint and yeah. So I took care of all that, it's ready for one more coat and basically my problem was I, didn't, I had too much air, not enough fluid. So I just turn up my fluid and that should help it lay out instead of just coming down like overspray everywhere. Uh, 
We have more fluid from the gun, and I'm going to spray a little thicker now since this is going to be the final color coat. Already put one layer of clear down, about to throw the second one right now. Two coats in, and I think I'm gonna just leave it there. We'll have to see how it dries, but even wet, like this, laid down really flat. Uh, I see I have some runs, and I'm just, I still gotta learn how to use this gun, but we got a little bit of contamination in here, but uh, you saw earlier, I didn't really take my time all that much with. Uh, getting the dirt out of it. Yeah, looks good. Alright, I'll get back to you when this is out onto the street in the sun. Here our new day. Paint has dried to the touch. And hopefully you can tell, but that clear coat came out amazing. I don't think I got enough coverage with my base coat so I don't know how well this is going to match um, yeah I have some runs over here um, that's just because of this setup that I was doing really this will be the last time I ever use boxes I'm going to buy one of those stands uh, that they use in automotive shops um, yeah those runs are awful but hopefully you won't be able to see it I don't want to sh show you too much <laughs> but the clear coat is like glass. Let's put this on the car. Here it is in the sun. So it is slightly off, but the rest of the car is dirty, so maybe when it's clean it will match a little better. Um, man, I just can't can't believe how flat that clear coat came out. That was, That's amazing. That gives me hope. As long as I lay the base down and make sure it's all primed and sanded all smooth then I'll be good I'll be good to start painting full cars uh, it is lots of runs hopefully you can 
can see it's pretty bad. I'm probably just going to sand that area flat and leave the sand marks in it. That way you don't see the runs, but man, that looks good. So once again, the gun I used was a Spray It SP33000K LVP, LVLP. This is pretty awesome. It's very affordable and it doesn't require much CFM, which was the best thing for my little 33 gallon compressor uh, and it works for even smaller compressors. I saw someone paint rooms in a house with a little pancake compressor. Then coming with this regulator attached to the gun, that is an absolute must. Now I know that. And yeah, uh, this kit that I bought, because I did buy the kit instead of just the guns, it comes with three different tips. So it has a 1.3, 1.5, and 1.7 millimeter tip. So I, I use the 1.5 for base and 1.3 for clear. Um, if I didn't mention it, the base I sprayed about 25 PSI and the clear was about 33, somewhere around there. Um, yeah, still got a lot to learn, um, but huge improvements. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, where we're actually going to paint something a lot bigger with this gun.